Hello everybody. This is Raj and I am here with Moral Sense Chapter of Standard 7, Chapter 4 as you can see, Realize Your Potential. So this chapter is recognizing our potential and putting it in the right direction to achieve success in our life. So let's go on to the chapter. So as you can see, chapter 4, Realize Your Potential. Here we can see one quotation has been given by Vivell. Failures are the steps to success. As you know, to achieve success, it's not necessary. Always you will get success and success and success. We may get failures, but we have to take that failures as a stepping steps. These are the steps through which we can achieve success. So let's go on to the story. Many of us are afraid of doing certain things because we fear that we might not be successful. The fear of failure prevents us from doing many great tasks. As a result, many talented people don't fulfill their potential. We can take a lesson from the lives of the great men who achieved success. They have erased the fear of failure from their mind. Even if they fail in any undertaking, they took their failure in stride and with redoubled vigor started again. So try to find out your goal early in life and without any fear of failure, pursue it. Let's read the story. So this uh, chapter is all about how to achieve success. You cannot achieve success if you are fearing for anything. We should be not fearing, we should go ahead in our life and with more courage, suppose we may achieve success, it's good, but sometimes we may not achieve success, we may achieve failure. In that case, what we should do? Shall, shall we walk down and sit and remain afraid throughout the life? No, it's not like that dear. We have to take long stride, we have to take long step and with redoubled vigor means our strength should be doubled and again start trying it. Ultimately, you will achieve success. So here the story is, one day Shyam was walking through a forest when he saw an eagle's egg lying on the way. He brought it home and kept it on the coop. The egg had and the little eagle grew up thinking it was a chicken. The eagle behaved exactly like the chickens. It scratched in the dirt for seeds. It never flew more than a few feet as the chickens did. One day the baby eagle saw an eagle flying in the open sky. It asked for the chicken, which bird is that? How beautiful it looks. The chickens replied, that is an eagle, you cannot fly like it because you are just a chicken. So, if you see the story, there was a boy called Shyam and he went to the forest where he found one egg lying on the way. While he was passing by, he saw an egg and that was an eagle's egg. So, what he did, he bought that egg home and he kept it in the coop of the chicken. He had some chickens or, or hen which was about to uh, uh, hatch the eggs which was there. So he kept it along with that egg, the chicken egg also. And the chicken egg and the egg of the eagle had at once and they came out from their shell. And then the eagle which came out, it was accompanied by chicken. So it exactly started behaving like chicken. It scratched in the dirt for seeds, finding out seeds. And whatever the chicken did, the baby eagle started following that thing only. And it was believing that it was a chicken and not an eagle. And one day, uh, the eagle, the baby eagle saw some birds flying in the sky and told what a beautiful bird it is. And the chickens who were accompanying the eagle, they said it is an eagle who was flying in the sky and you cannot fly like them because you are also a chicken. You are not an eagle. Then what happened? One day Syam's friend visited his house and he was surprised to see that in a group of chickens there was an eagle. And uh, he asked Syam how he had kept that eagle with the chickens. Then Syam told him the story that how he has got that egg from the forest, kept it in the coop of the hen and it had along with chicken and it started realizing that it was a chicken. So it exactly behaved like a chicken. So Siam friend told that no it's not a chicken it's actually an eagle and it can learn to fly. 
and I will make it fly. So Siam student was very much confident that he will make it to fly and fly like a chicken. So he started of thinking how to uh, teach that baby eagle to fly. Then to that Siam said that it will not fly because from the birth it was in the group of chickens and but his friend told that he was very much convinced that he will teach that baby eagle to fly one day. So Siam also agreed and the friend of Siam took that eagle in his arms and dropped it from a little height thinking that it will fly. But the eagle did not fly because it had fear that it was a chicken and it cannot fly. Next day what he did, Siam's friend took that baby eagle to the top of a building and he thought of dropping when he was about to drop it from the building then the eagle got frightened that it may get killed because it did not know how to fly from such a long height so it jumped out from his hand and joined to the group of chickens so the same thing Sham's friend did with the eagle to make it fly but it was not flying but finally what happened? Sham friend took that baby eagle to a group of eagles where there was a group of eagles. He kept it there for some days and after that there that eagle saw the other eagles flying up and started behaving like them and first it could fly for a short distance but after some time it was soaring up in the sky like the other eagles. So when it was soaring up in the sky it stretched out its wings and flew. So students, from this story we can understand that like the eagle, which was an, actually an eagle and it has a lot of capabilities but it had thoughts of failures that it will not be able to fly because it started to behave like chickens as it was in a group of chickens. So we should not think of failures. We have to overcome the fear of our failure. If we overcome the fear of our failure, we will certainly become successful in our own ventures. So the thought of the day, if you can see, failure is often God's own tool for carving some of the finest outlines in the character of his children. So failure brings the best in a human. So we should not fear for failures, but we should try with double effort and try to succeed in our life. Now, well, let's go to the question answers. Uh, so the first question it's written over here. Why did the eagle behave like the chickens? The answer is the eagle behaved like the chickens because from its birth it has lived with the chickens. Then let's go to question number two. Describe the attempts of the friend to make the eagle fly. So the friend took the eagle in his arms and dropped it from a little hive thinking that it would stretch its wing for flying but the eagle did not fly. Next day he took the eagle to the top of the building. When he was about to drop it, the eagle got frightened. It jumped out from his hands and joined the chickens. He tried for several days but the eagle did not fly. Finally he took the eagle to the place where there were so many eagles. Seeing the other eagles fly, it was encouraged and tried to fly. At first it flew for short distance but after some time the eagle was soon soaring up in the sky. Now let's go on to the next question, question number 3. What is the moral of the story? What is the moral of the story? This you have to write in your own words. So the answer is, like the eagle of this story, many of us are scared of failures. That is why we did not, uh, we don't try if we overcome the fear of failure, we will certainly be successful in our ventures. Then question number 4. Write the incident that you have never done in your life and you are scared of doing. So this student, you can write your own answers. If you have any personal incident, you can write your own answers. 
I have given one demo example or demo answer over here. You can come up with your own answers. So I want to ride the bicycle on the road, but I have never did it. Once upon a time, I was riding the bicycle in the open field. Uh, I fell down. I thought that if I can't ride the bicycle in the open field, then how can I ride the bicycle on the road between the bikes and the cars? This is the incident that I wanted to do, but I have not done. Then, uh, question number B, and scramble the jumble words. This one you see, affluent, this will be failure. This one, eternant, whatever written, it is determination. And this one will be succeed. So, the answer will be failure establish only this that our determination to succeed was not strong enough. So, that was what we had. So, till then, bye-bye.